Hey, how are you doing? My name is Boncho and I've been painting portraits, at least for the last months. I started the series last year, the end of last year, and I'm almost coming to an end. So today we're going to look at the very first one that I did for the series. It's a portrait of a woman and I choose a turquoise background. When I begin this series, I used to like to cut out some parts of the face and like push them a little bit in different directions, you know, make it make it look a little bit different. If you've been following me for a little bit, you probably saw the beginning of the concept last summer at some point. I've been obsessed with parallel sh shading or parallel hatching, what you call. So in the beginning, you see a lot of these, or not in the beginning, but in the beginning of this, this whole series concept, you see a lot of the hair just being hatched. Actually, I think almost all of them have it. I really try to like have 15 that that are together. I try to, even it was hard though. It was hard to not develop and continue. I really wanted 15 pieces that work by the same rules and not experiment, even though I, I kind of wanted to. And now that I'm getting to an end, I'm actually f feel like like I'm, I'm free again because I, I know I can just experiment again. But why I limited myself so much was um, because I wanted to make all, all those 15 ones eventually into like a small little artist book with, uh, with poems next to them. That was the initial idea to have because I've, I've been in love with writing on, on paintings. So I figured out a way for me how I, I would write a little part of the poem onto the paintings and have full full length poems with them. More to that probably in the following months. So while I was rambling on here, you saw me filling in the first layers of these, this painting. And at that time, I don't know what the poem will be actually, because I finished the paintings first, at least for this series, I finished the paintings first before I thought about what the poem might should sound like. While I finish this painting, let me read you the poem. In the quiet depths where shadows weep, there lies a tale, both dark and deep, of wounds that carve their mark within, a story told where healing begins. Yet strength, they say, is born of pain, a truth we cling to, to ease the strain. But what if scars, like ink on skin, merely remind of the battles within? For wounds may not weave muscles tight, or grant the power to endless fight. Instead, they whisper secrets true, of trials faced and skies turned blue. No pain does not a hero make, nor every ache a soul's heartbreak. But in acknowledging what's held inside, we find the courage to set aside. The myth of strength in wounds may fade, but truth remains, though often frayed. In owning pain, we find our song, a melody of life, both weak and strong. In the quiet ache where sorrows glide, Acknowledge, learn, let healing bide. For in the truth of scars embraced, we find the strength to stand with grace.